Good morning and greetings from Western New York. This is a picture that was taken yesterday from City Hall, I believe, looking south uh, across the city where there's a few inches of snow, but into the teeth of a classic lake effect snowstorm that was dropping four to five feet of snow on the South Towns yesterday. It's November 19th, uh, 2014, the Como Park area of Lancaster, and this is day two of this unprecedented snowstorm that we've experienced. Strong lake effect snow uh, for the past, oh boy, 30, 36 hours or so. And I'm looking at my side yard uh, where officially we received 60 inches of snow here in Lancaster uh, during that um, first slam of this storm. Now yesterday I had attempted to plow out as best I could. Uh, the best chance I had was to dig this narrow trench uh, out from the side door across the front yard and, and just try to get to the street so we had some sort of exit in case we had some uh, health issue or injury. Um, knock on wood we haven't had anything like that but I see overnight that we have about another foot of snow uh, in this trench. So we received somewhere between uh, 6 to 12 inches of snow overnight um, on top of the 60 inches we received through last night. Uh, so I'm just going to take a little quick walk down through the trench here. And it's actually a little deep here, so we might not get too far. The snow is up over my boots right now. And I'm getting out to about as far as I got yesterday. And here now it's up to my knees, and I really can't go further. <sighs> the street has been plowed overnight, and I'm not sure if you can see that, but beyond that first ridge of snow and, and before the second ridge of snow, that's a plowed street. Just kind of panning down the street, very little activity. That mound across the street is someone's car, probably under eight to nine feet of snow. I'm panning toward our driveway. This is one of our cars, and there's another one on the other side. And again, I'm looking at about seven feet of snow right there. Go back this way. This is our third car. <laughs> I'm having trouble pivoting in the, in the snow I'm in. That's another car closer to the street, but on our property anyway. And now this is looking over toward Como Park, which is across the street from us normally. Oh, sorry about that. I'm sinking in the snow. And here are the trees. This is out toward the front of our house. And now you start to see our house from the outside. There's my office. There's the snow over my office. Up over the second floor, I took a picture out of that bathroom window a little while ago. You can see that uh, enormous amount of snow up on the roof, which I'm getting worried about. There's the path back to the kitchen door. I continue to pan here over to the garage. That's about three feet of snow on top of the garage. In a second, I'll show you the view from inside this garage door. Um, it was amazing yesterday when I opened that for the first time. So now I'm in the garage, and I won't show you too much here because it's such a mess from moving things all around yesterday to try to get the snowblower working effectively somewhere. But I'm looking out the main door of the garage toward a mound under which there is a car. And yesterday, I worked on this area with the snowblower, but as you can see, this snow is about five feet deep right now, and the snowblower is really a, a monster of a machine under normal conditions. It's a Cub Cadet, um, but what I had to do here was just keep pulling the snow down in front of the 
uh, in front of the um, snowblower and then trying to get it to blow up over the, the mound here to the left. And that was a challenge in itself. It just doesn't have that kind of a oomph to it. There is a car in there. That's why I was headed in this direction. And I did reach the license plate yesterday, but it's more obscured today. Um, but that is a car under there, a Honda Civic. Panning here to the other side of the entrance to the garage. That's what I saw all across the front of the garage entrance when I raised the door for the first time yesterday. That is um, two and a half feet, I would estimate, right there against the door, and it quickly um, mounds up to over four feet. And certainly when you get over here to the car, that's way taller than I am. I'm six feet tall. And we're talking about seven plus feet of snow under which are the cars. And in retrospect, we should have parked these cars end to end to leave half of this driveway open to operate somehow with the snow blower. But right now, I don't have room to operate between the cars if I could find them. And I don't have room to operate on the other side of the cars. Now, I'm seeing somebody way over there beyond the stop sign who is working on his vehicle, it looks like, with some sort of a, a little shovel or a rake or something. If there was a vehicle there, I didn't know it. And I can't believe that he drove anywhere with that on his roof. So there's an incredible picture right there. That's my report, November, what did I say, 18th, 19th. Today's the 19th, sorry about that. And this is Lancaster, New York, recovering from day one of this event, probably up there with the worst of any snow event I've ever experienced. And the prediction is this, beginning tonight and through Friday morning, which is a day and a half away, uh, we are expecting another two to three feet, uh, according to the National Weather Service.